Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nani back again with another video. I hope you guys are doing well today. Welcome to my channel if you are not new. And if you are new, thank you so much for clicking into today's video. I would be so grateful if you guys could like the video before we even start. I think on my channel, there's like more than 95% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. Imagine more than 95%. So this video is on budgeting, okay? So we are going to talk about budgeting as a medical student specifically as an international medical student in Bulgaria, okay? So first of all, why are we talking about Bulgaria? We're talking about Bulgaria because we are students or you want to or you're going to be an upcoming student in Bulgaria. So where is Bulgaria? Like why why are you talking about Bulgaria without giving us a location? Okay guys, I'll let you guys in a little bit. So Bulgaria is in southern southeastern Europe around there like in southeastern Europe so Bulgaria is a very known destination in recent years because of its popularity and because of the fact that the course is taught in English and the affordability okay so we're gonna get into all of those things first of all the weather the weather is so amazing in Bulgaria as you can see I am filming in the middle of October without any lighting and the Sun is still like it's quite sunny outside right now i think some of these tips that i'm going to share here are going to be tips that can also help students that are like uh maybe doing uh management or they're doing engineering or they're doing um, uh, other subjects you know yeah, okay mm. I've made some points which I am going to read off my points because I don't want the video to be extremely long I just want this video to be like 10 minutes okay one of the main thing that is attractive for international students coming to study in Bulgaria is the affordability of tuition fee so many students come to Bulgaria to study because the course is affordable affordable in a sense that it is um, cheaper compared to other European countries like for example my friend she's studying in uh, Lithuania and she pays 13,000 or 13,000 plus euros and you know the cost of living in Lithuania is also higher than Bulgaria and one of my other friends she's studying in France but France is so much cheaper if you can get into France girl you will be paying like 100 euros 200 euros for your tuition fee the tuition fee in bulgaria is 8,000 euros it may be a lot for some people i'm not going to deny that it's quite a lot especially if you are not you, you don't have a loan especially if you don't have like scholarship and it's very hard to come across like scholarships or loans when you move to bulgaria as an international student to study for Varna medical university because i think other universities in uh, bulgaria also offer cheaper tuition fees compared to Varna Medical University. I think the University of Trakia, Varna Medical University, the tuition fee is 8,000 euros. But as of recent years, I believe, they have changed the tuition fee now. And I've heard from other, other students, and I've done a bit of research, and a tuition fee in Varna Medical University has increased. And it has increased for those that are in first year. First year of medical school is going to be 9,000 euros. And then subsequently from two, from the second year to the sixth year is going to be 8,000 euros. That's what is written on the website. As of now, October 2023, that's the first point about why Bulgaria is such an attractive uh, uh, place for medical students to come. Once you graduate from these Eastern European countries, not just Bulgaria, um, you do not have any debt unless you took a loan or you took like uh, unless you took a loan from the bank or from you know family member you know but otherwise many students that graduate from these places they do not have a loan to pay back so this is very good this is very attractive in a sense that once you start working as a junior doctor you're not going to be paying for a loan like for example medical students that are in the uk they have the ucas loan that they sign up for and you need to be paying you know as you start working you need they just remove a little bit of money as the years go by you know so you will be exempted from from that and you would save a little bit more compared to other students the next thing i'm going to talk about is going to be the living expenses in bulgaria i've done a video on my channel highlighting how uh highlighting my monthly spending i will link the video down below i'll put a link below so you guys can go ahead and watch that video but an overview of the life expenses here is that bulgaria is also an attractive place to come to study because of the affordable lifestyle things are much cheaper compared to other places one pound is equal to two lever i mean it has kind of dropped a little bit 
but I think it's exactly just two levels. Exchange rate is a bit lower now uh, in pounds, and one euro is about like one lev ninety five cents, something like that. So it's not exactly two euros. So that's something to bear in mind when you come. In two thousand and eighteen, things were much more cheaper than now, and uh, you could find a flat for like three hundred lev. That's like one hundred and fifty euros, and that flat would look very nice. But now things are so expensive, guys. So so expensive that if you see a flat for 600 left which is about 300 euros you will cry yourself to sleep because it's gonna be most likely like a studio instead of like a whole flat like what I have here you know there has been a bit of changes also due to the war in Ukraine that happened recently so that's why things have you know kind of increased here in Bulgaria is no longer as affordable as it used to be but nevertheless it's still cheaper compared to other European countries still way cheaper okay it all depends about your lifestyle you can live beyond your means if you want or if you want you can live in a comfortable life or you can live below your means in such a way that you can save and another thing spend just about 200 euros on your food per month honestly it's even too much i believe but i would say 200 euros 200 to like 300 uh, 200 to 250 euros is what you would spend on your food per month because per week after doing like a massive shopping for the semester which i usually spend like maybe 250 euros then per semester for that six months let's say i'm going to be spending just about 50 left 25 euros per week to like replenish whatever like my milk my bread my um whatever else or like maybe buying like chicken or blah 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 per week you will spend just about 50 euros but if you are someone that is eating more uh, if you're like for example a man of course you're gonna eat more than us women then you'll be spending just about like 100 euros per, per week less than 100 euros per week that's why i said a whole month living expenses a whole month of living expenses in Bulgaria is going to be about 600 euros. You'll be living a comfortable life in Bulgaria. A very, very, very comfortable life because let's say if you go for a rent that is about like, yeah, if you have 600 euros and your rent and your bills and everything is 300 euros, you have 300 euros more to spare. Or let's say your rent and your bills is like 250, so you still have like 250 euros to spare, 250 euros to like eat. Food is very affordable. The rent is also it's cheaper compared to other countries. It all depends about your budget. If you want to find a flat that is 150 euros, you can find it if you want to find a flat that is uh, 200 euros you can find one 300 euros 350 euros 380 euros is it all depends honestly it all depends on you know your lifestyle like and it all depends on your budget once you know what you can afford then you can cut your your living according to your size you can cut your coat according to your size that's what they say if you get your flat next to the university let's say in your first uh, first year then you don't need to take any taxi you don't need transportation you don't need anything like that and even if you were to take a taxi or to take a bus it's very very cheap a journey for a taxi is about like six left six to ten left uh, if it's far okay it has increased recently but we used to pay like three left five four left honestly for like a journey but now it's a bit it has increased by like two left let's say okay um for students i would absolutely recommend that you you take public transport uh, when you come to bulgaria don't be scared you can get a discount if you go to uh, the bus station where they make the card so you can take a monthly card my friend told me recently she took a monthly card for like 45 level you're paying 45 level for three months that's for three months 45 level is about like 22 euros let's say you can get on any bus okay any bus within Varna. you can go on any journey no matter how long the journey is as long as you have that card once, once uh, the invigilator comes in you just scan it and you're good to go there are also some apps that you can download to direct you which stop to take uh, where to stop because things are you know written in bulgaria so i will put an app that i use here so another thing that students do to save money is that you can go and try like local foods okay so when you're trying to budget and especially during exam season we know that we need to maximize our time we need to you know study and everything so one thing you uh, many students do is that they order food and you order food from like the locals so you order like a donut you, you can go to those restaurants and they are fairly more cheap uh, much cheaper than the big ones like 
let's say for example happy even happy is still affordable if you have 20 left you can eat a good meal in happy and that's when you're going out with your friends and that's about like 10 euros so the next thing i'm going to talk about is uh work opportunities because a lot of students ask me about this a lot of people ask me like if i come to bulgaria to study will i be able to work will i be able to to do this do that do that absolutely it's all it all depends on you guys i say again if you feel that you can work you can absolutely work for example my friend she started working like i think in third year if i'm not mistaken or maybe fourth year okay she started working in a restaurant you can work in restaurants you can work in cafes and this has also helped her with her language with her skills like she speaks bulgarian fluently she speaks bulgarian so fluently just like bulgarians because she went ahead and like applied for a job here in bulgaria like i told you guys i tried working here uh you know, one summer i worked in a resort and i was just like nah this is not for me this is not my life this is not my life like i started a business on my own i do hair you know i braid people's hair and that's what my business is here another thing you can do you can think about is what are your skills do you know another language you can teach people here how to speak maybe french you can also find a remote job online where you can teach english teach french uh teach german korean any other language that you you may know get a job online you can get a remote job online that will allow you to work and you know manage your time in such a good way so you can find a job in a cafe you can find a job in a restaurant you can find a job during the big holiday like the summer holiday you can go to resorts like in uh, in a sunny beach in uh, burgas in sofia then again i wouldn't recommend that you take a job that is like permanent because that will give you more time to study and to focus on your studies you don't want to uh, 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 dedicate all of your timing to work and forget the real reason why you came to bulgaria in the first place so when you come here as an international student please do not be full the affordability of things because before the the, the the month ends you would have spent all of your money thinking that oh you, you still have a bit of reserve so try to know how to budget and to assign like a small chunk of money for for example for your bills a small chunk of money for your food a small chunk of money for like going out with friends a small chunk of money for maybe like saving let's say 10 10 left each month so you can travel with your friends somewhere within bulgaria you know there's many things that you can do to try and live a life that is like honestly fulfilling as a medical student so that once you're finished with your degree you'll be like i had an amazing time studying medicine in bulgaria i had like the best experience ever it all depends on like how much what is your budget like when you're coming into bulgaria is your budget 500 euros is your bu budget 600 euros is your budget 700 or is it 800 you know so once you know your budget then you can choose things according to you know to how much you have and trust me people live so well here students live so well here especially international students things are very affordable compared to our home country oh yes the last thing i'm going to mention is that before moving to bulgaria please make sure you get yourself a metro bank card if you are from the uk and i think maybe other parts of the world i'm sure you can get it, it will allow you to uh remove money in bulgaria free of charge okay so they don't charge you the exchange rate is not going to be too bad uh, another app i recommend using for budgeting is revolut revolut is such a good app honestly revolut has saved me since like is it second or third year because the exchange rate on revolut is so much better than compared to other places also another thing you can do is open a, a, a bank account here in bulgaria that way you can just transfer money from your bank account into the into theirs and when you remove the money they will not charge you so those are all my tips concerning bulgaria i know like i rambled a bit left and right guys i'm so sorry like the attractiveness of bulgaria is because of low tuition fee low cost of living so uh, the food is fairly affordable transportation is very affordable and then another thing that is attractive about bulgaria when it comes to budgeting is travel within bulgaria or you can travel like to neighboring countries because bulgaria is in such a nice location and you can travel to like turkey you can travel to greece romania germany you can travel to france like you can travel to many places by just taking one flight honestly so grateful that i uh, chose to come here and uh, in my final year now and honestly the time went by so fast the main thing about budgeting is that before leaving your home country you need to know how much can you spend per month if you were spending like 1000 pounds in the uk per month know that when you come to varna okay 
Vana specifically because Sofia is much more expensive compared to Vana. You are going to half that £1,000, okay? You're probably going to spend like £500 here per month or £550. If you want a bougie lifestyle, then you can spend the whole £1,000 per month. But if you want a, a lifestyle that is a bit, you know, comfortable and clean and uh, quiet, then you can spend literally just about like 500 to 600 euros per month. I hope these tips help you and if you have any other questions regarding budgeting, regarding uh, uh, how to save your money, blah 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 and everything like that, then leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you guys. And if you have any other queries, please leave them in the comments below and I will definitely answer you. Thank you so much guys for watching today's video. Like, share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!